When I was 17, I couldn't wait to leave Glenrothes. I was Bruce Springsteen on his motorbike, a girl strapping her hands across my engines. I was Bob Dylan, lying awake, listening to those long distance trains, except it was Markinch Viaduct instead of Hibbing, Minnesota. It hadn't always been that way. The bit of Glenrothes I grew up in, Alwyn Park, was a special place to be a kid back then. On one side, a strip of woodland for all sorts of action games. Another border was the river, with pools where you could find sticklebacks and frog spawn. The third side was fields, some slopes for sledging on in winter, a playing field with a great big tree that captured kites and towered over the neighbourhood's November bonfires. But it was a growing new town, and bit by bit, houses overtook the fields, a new road took down the kite-catching tree, and a world that was big enough for childish things became a set of boundaries we wanted to bust out of. Years later, I moved back and the cycle began again. We set up house in a different part of Glenrothes, but my daughter also grew up near playing fields, mature woodland where the roe deer hid from their human neighbours, a garden made rich out of the thick clay of farmland long gone. Now it's my daughter on her metaphorical motorbike, busting out of town. The difference is maybe the way the world outside has reached her already through its wide web. And Dylan and Springsteen are definitely dance music.